So the question at the top of our show today was, can God use me? And maybe you've asked that question. Well, the short answer is absolutely. The Bible is crystal clear that each and every one of us possesses a unique combination of gifts, talents, and experiences that have been intricately woven together for God's purpose. Now, I know it's easy to underestimate the power of God's spirit in our lives, but the truth is God can work wonders through us if we're willing to surrender to his plan. And the Bible is full of examples like this. I mean, think of Moses. He didn't think he could speak and God used him. There was Gideon. He was a coward and God used him to defeat a great army. And there was Esther. She was a slave and yet God elevated her to set her people free. So yeah, God does want to use you. But I hear your pushback. I get it. Because in our culture, sometimes we are tempted to compare ourselves with others. And all we see is our limitations, right? They can do this. I can't. Well, don't think that way. Another problem we have is that our own experiences of rejection or failure sometimes cloud our vision. We go, well, if I was so great, why do these bad things keep happening to me? I get that. But a third reason is we don't actually fully trust God's power. We often think, well, maybe God can use someone else, but really, he can't use me. I, I think of the story of Peter in the storm when Jesus appears walking on the lake and they're all terrified. And Peter says, if it's really you, Jesus, if you could really do something, then ask me to come out and walk on the water. And so Jesus takes him up at his challenge and says, okay, Peter, come on out. And he does. He steps out on the water, even though it didn't really make sense in the natural. See, here's what I've learned. You don't have to have it all figured out. You just have to hear God's voice and take one step in his direction. So does God want to use you? Absolutely. How? Just ask him, God, what do you want for me today? I know it's easy to get tied to our past and anxious about our future, but today, God, what do you want me to do? Maybe it's text someone and just say, I'm sorry. Maybe it's you're going to walk by someone and something inside of you is going to say, you could do something about that. Maybe you're going to watch something or hear something and be challenged to make a difference in your life. Whatever it is, just listen for God's voice and be obedient. So I'm going to have a challenge. When, when was the last time you actually listened for God's voice or you sought God's plan for your life? When was the last time that you took a courageous step toward God, trusting that it's his power who is going to bring the result, not yours? When was the last time you did something that could only be accomplished with God's power for his glory? Maybe today, God is calling you to get out of the boat. Will you do it? And that is a stepping stone to being who God has called you to be.